Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're going to talk about three-point hitch operation using the electronic position control. So we'll just step inside the tractor here and we'll go through that with you. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to access the three-point hitch menu. So we're going to touch the tractor button and then we're going to touch the tractor with the hitch button to get the expanded menu there. So the, the first the first line here is the lift height. And how we would change that is you would touch, touch the box and then scroll the dial to get the percentage to where you want the, the hitch to lift to maximum. The next one down, again, touch the box to change it, is the lift speed. The box below is the drop speed on the hitch, right? So if you have something heavy and you don't want it to slam down, that, that one we're going to adjust down. Um, then we get into where we have different kinds of dampening going on. So this is a speed dampening that you would touch there and you adjust that once you start going down the road, hitch dampening takes over or if you happen to be moving across a field. So you're going to set this above whatever your working speed is, uh, more for your road transport speed. And then the bottom box here is draft control or 100% position control. The, the full position control is all the way over and the full draft control is actually zero. So when you scroll it all the way back to zero, that's when you get full draft control. For most applications, you're gonna be either a mix or 100% position unless you're doing something specialized like plowing or some kind of a mounted implement. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is you can either unlock the, the three-point hitch by touching the, the button there and you can see how it went from red lock to green unlock or you can double click the up button and it does the same thing for you as well. Um, as we move down here, this puts your hitch into priority mode, so it takes hydraulic function first. This one is a service function that you're probably not going to use yourself, but again, that's how you unlock it. The next one puts the hitch into double acting if it's so set up. And the last one here is the slip control setup. So again, you can touch the box, you can adjust it so that when you get a certain percentage of slip that the hitch starts to lift. It works with, with the draft control function and the bottom one is that hitch dampening that we talked about in the first place there. The last thing is your depth control dial. Um, so you adjust the depth control by turning the blue dial on that depth control, nine is the lowest and one is the highest. Okay, so so wherever you want to have that positioned accordingly, you'll hit drop and then you'll position that so that the hitch drops to the level that you want it to. Um, there are also two buttons here that you can push and put your hitch into automatic functions. When you push that, then your hitch goes on to the go and end buttons and we'll get into more of that in a later video when we start to work with the, the teach-in function in the monitor. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.